Hello, welcome. Hello, my name is B, and this channel is B versus the System, where we talk all things STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, as well as a little bit about life and tangential topics. And today, you are tuned into Parallel Play, where we work, study, create, separately, yet together. And the goal of Parallel Play is just to help you reach some of your goals while also making some new friends in the chat. So before we get started, I'll go over today's agenda. But also, um, just say hey in the chat. I'd love to know where everybody is. And thanks also for those who caught my live stream that I did a few days ago celebrating 100 subscribers. That was like... <laughs> amazing such great vibes and such just amazing people yeah it's, okay so this is today's uh schedule actually no this is today's schedule we're doing a longer one today is one and a half hour so we'll do one and a half hour of focus time today broken into two 45 minute sessions and in between those sessions We'll be doing a 15 minute talk about today's topic, which is a med tech startup that I came across called Nucleus Genomics. And for those who don't know, my background is in cytogenetics, where I mostly worked with chromosome abnormalities. And this um, is just something that I came across while I was online uh, scrolling, I believe, LinkedIn. <laughs> Um, but anyways, with this uh, company being about genomics, it's a company that I'm very excited to just explore. I do have some hesitations and I'm just curious as to how things work. So we're going to kind of do a little deep dive into their website and some things that I'll be able to find. Um, in addition, I'll be working today. I have a lot of just administrative tasks to do today. I think I'll be doing some invoicing, um, some planning for videos, as well as just emails. I feel like the bane of a lot of people's existence. But yeah, let's jump into it. I'll also be playing some lo-fi beats. This one is gaming lo-fi. I say gaming lo-fi, but it's just Zelda. Um, I've been playing Zelda <laughs> again recently, and I've just been really liking the channel of um, just lo-fi vibes that are Zelda related. So we're gonna listen to some of that. But without further ado, let's jump into it. So I'll set my timer for 45 minutes. If anybody knows how to do a online timer for StreamYard specifically, uh, not OBS or anything, just like StreamYard, please let me know um, so that I can actually have the time on screen. But anyways, we will get started.
All right, all right. How was that for you all? Hopefully really good that you're able to get some work done. Not me talking without my microphone. Let's try that again. <laughs> I hope that you all were able to get some good study time in. I, I was definitely working on um, just some very tedious tasks. I don't know if you could tell by my face, but um, just some things were um, tasks that I definitely needed to get done uh, that I had been holding off, such as doing some invoices and other admin work. Other things were new tasks that were just kind of annoying, honestly. Like there was this one um, thing I had to do where I had to alphabetize everything and it was like different logos that I had to alphabetize, but it was maybe like a hundred logos. And I don't know, just so, I don't know if you saw me, I was just like, wait, does P come before Q? Like just very, very annoyed, but it's pretty much done. And I don't know if I would have done it uh, without this focus time. So thank you all. But yeah, let's um, transition to the next topic, which is today's topic that I'm super excited about. We are going to discuss, let me see if I can bring it up here. Uh, we are going to be discussing a company that I came across called Nucleus Genomics. So that, hold on. Also, if you do work in science by chance uh, or any other STEM related uh, careers, please let me know. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I used to work in cytogenetics. Um, I also worked a bit in oncology, but it was more so like undergrad. I did some work with the NIH and NSF during a program where I was able to work with a PI and graduate students, both from my university as well as Clemson University. And um, Clemson focused more on like bioengineering, whereas we focus more on just biology um, and oncology, specifically uh, breast cancer metastasis, which I really enjoyed doing. I was definitely younger at the time, and I feel that um, had I experienced it, like with now how I know how to work in a lab, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more, um, as well as the fact that I wouldn't have been taking organic chemistry that semester, which uh, is just a lot. But anyways, um, we are going to get into Nucleus. Alrighty, so I came across Nucleus scrolling LinkedIn uh, because I follow Alexis Ohanian, who um, some of you all may know as the founder of Reddit. I know Reddit just recently had their IPO. Uh, you may also know him as Serena Williams' husband, um, as well as potentially an investor. I know him as all three. I actually had like random, super random. I had a chance, um, or I, I did actually meet him back when I had my first startup, we actually pitched them for investment. This is when I was living in San Francisco and uh, their, their venture firm, not, not 776, which he has now, but it was um, first, I forgot what it's called, but I didn't meet with him. I met with his partner, but he just happened to be in the kitchen of their office when I was getting greeted in. And I saw him and I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> like, I recognize your face. Um, this was me back in like 2018 or 2019. Um, either way, super cool. And I've been just kind of following along ever since. Anyways, his new venture uh, firm recently invested in Nucleus Genomics. And I came across it. And whenever I see a medical, what is it, like a, a med tech company that takes venture capital, I get super skeptical um, just because I know the, um, what venture capitalists are looking for is growth, like, and sometimes growth at all costs, depending on which uh, 
firm you work with and how much money you take from them. Um, so I think that was also the case with Elizabeth Holmes, um, if you're familiar with Theranos. Also, if you all want to talk about Theranos, I know it's been like a couple years since the um, the news break of everything with Theranos happened, but I just have some strong opinions on how everything went down, as well as like how I knew that the lab techs would be the one to realize that it was just all um, just all a farce. Um, for those who don't know, Theranos had a claim where they were um, able to do all these different types of uh, genomic tests and DNA tests, I think hundreds of tests with just one drop of blood. And we'll get into it as we go through Nucleus. Nucleus does not uh, use blood samples. They use swabs, so basically saliva, um, to do their testing. But even still, I, I just have some, some thoughts. Anyways, let's jump into it. So Nucleus is a new era of proactive health, delivering insights guided by your unique DNA and inspire your healthiest lifestyle. Um, let's see. I actually haven't gone too, too much through the website, so we'll be going through this together, and then we'll do our next session. Um, but I thought it was interesting, one, just to let you all know about a company that is, I guess, kind of up and coming and could be something that you're interested in, but also just to look through to see um, my thoughts on it. See, yeah, hopefully there's nothing sketchy going on. I feel like we'll just see. So we use cutting edge DNA analysis to explore a greater breadth of diseases and traits coming soon. So according to them, they can test for breast cancer, uh, coronary artery disease, age related things, all the things that are listed here, different cancers, ADHD, interesting, schizophrenia, alcohol dependence. Wow, interesting. Do they have them anymore? Okay, can't, can't click there. Um, if you've already done a DNA test, you can upload the snapshot of your DNA through the Nucleus basic plan. Okay, so they do a, a subscription plan, I guess. Um, our innovative algorithms calculate the combined impact of the differences in your DNA, yada, yada. Hmm. Okay, let's click to see how this works. We're only three steps away from your whole DNA story. So you order a swab and discover. So the reason that I felt like when I first came across this, I felt a little bit skeptical just because they use a swab to get, um, to do basically all of these tests. And I need to make sure that it is like all the tests that they're doing and not just like you do a swab and you can get like one or two tests done. If they're doing like one swab and you're able to get a whole array of tests done, that's where I'm skeptical because of the yield, which means like how much DNA can you actually get from just one uh, swab? Um, even with blood, like that's why the uh, Theranos product did not work because they were saying that you could get, do all of these tests with only one drop of blood. Whereas when I worked in the cytogenetics lab, we had like a vial of blood <laughs> that we would do. And that was just to do like one test. Granted, this was what was it? I was working there maybe like five to seven years ago. So things do change, but I don't think it would change that much. Um, but yeah, we would have a whole, like, we would have a vial of blood to do our test. And uh, we were testing for different chromosome abnormalities. So um, yield is important. And it is also typical that, or it is just fact that you can get more DNA yield from a blood sample than um, a swab, like just from your mouth. And also you have like user error, like I wonder if they have it to where it's like, I don't know, like if you ate food and then you're swabbing, then like you're gonna have uh, your DNA that's not going to be, um, I don't know, it'll just be hard to get like a good swab. I wonder how they'll be able to test to see if you actually have like enough DNA in whatever test they have for you. So we'll see, anyways. You, the steps that you take are you order, swab, and discover. So I just, okay, the plan is what's throwing me off. Like, what are the plans? Like, are you able to 
do more with this or do they do like some type of um, genetic counseling with the plan? Because after you do the test and like you get your, your feedback, I just wonder how they're going to charge you monthly or annually or whatever the plan is from this. And this is why I always get skeptical when med tech companies work with investors because doing a like subscription plan is definitely a business model that works for um, venture capital but not necessarily for like a patient in a test like this, but we'll see. So you order and you have to sign up with a plan apparently. Do you have to? Yeah, you choose a plan and then you get your test. You swab, okay, you just swab your cheek and get your sample back, very similar to like just standard DNA testing, like if you're trying to see like for like ancestry, uh, but this is also supposed to tell you all your different diseases and ailments that you could have potentially. And then discover will analyze your DNA and tell you about your health risk. Okay, so they do work with some board uh, certified genetic counselors. So maybe that is what the plan contains. Oh, wait, Nucleus is working with Steady MD. So it seems like they're working with a third party um, company to provide this genetic testing. So more questions. Um, your samples are processed and okay, so they have their own laboratories. Hmm. Uh, let's hold on. I'm gonna see if there's anything else on here and then we're gonna go to discover the science. Oh, and then I wanna see what, what the premium plan has. Okay, there's so many places. Let's let's go to discover the science. Uh, okay, so how do they uh, compare to others? Other consumer and clinical genetic companies use technology that captures only a small fraction of your DNA, and they use whole genome sequencing. Okay. Uh, more DNA with cutting edge analysis. They give you a score with your DNA and their algorithms. Interesting. Some of these feel like buzzwords <laughs> to where it's like if you don't know anything about genetic testing, but I mean, it is, this is the consumer page, so it makes sense. Um, personalized reports. Okay. I am going to check two more things before we kind of just have a, a little bit of discussion. I'm going to check their go premium just because I want to see what are they actually like charging people for um because like honestly like that's that's the important part and that's where I feel like their nose messed up is like just figuring out like the business model as well as like promising things that they couldn't deliver on actually their nose messed up on a whole other thing so that could be like a whole other video but I am just very interested to see um what they're charging for so let's dig into go premium and then after this we'll go over the frequently asked questions page oh wait what okay hold on did i do this right i clicked on gold go premium maybe hmm go premium okay well i guess we can't see what <laughs> the premium plans are that's fine um Let's see, I'm going to try to find, okay, the frequently asked questions. Do they have their team on here? Um, I have a few website issues, but that's fine. Um, okay, they've been featured. Don't care too much about that unless there's been any, um, TechCrunch doesn't really mean much in my opinion, but <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got their investors. Okay, 776, which I've mentioned. Founders Fund, uh, so many investors. Okay. Oh, the Teal Foundation, not surprised. They randomly put on here that they have a chess player and influencer who is one of their investors. Must be great. Or maybe they just wanted a woman on here, but Anyways, Shred Capital, okay. Their advisors seem legit. Myriad Genetics. Hmm. Okay. 
All right, let's go to where we were originally going. I was just very curious of like, I don't see any of the founders on here though. Like, did I miss that? Did I miss, maybe the founders are still in stealth and don't want anybody to know so that they can't come after them like people did Elizabeth Holmes. Um, but yeah, all right, let's go over the frequently asked questions. Hmm, where should we start? We'll just go through any of these that um, seem interesting to me. Okay, what's included in the basic membership plan? And then we'll go to what's in premium. So with basic, you can upload your genotype DNA file from other companies and they use a portion of their cutting edge analysis on your existing data. The membership is $39 and they just give you new insights into your disease risk and traits. Oh, it's an annual membership. Okay, but like, why would I do this again? Um, okay, if you're interested in a complete genetic analysis, we recommend joining Nucleus Premium, which is a, okay, it is, a, okay, it's a one-time purchase of basically $400 and an annual membership of $39. So I guess you just get more information. I don't think that the business model makes sense. I feel like it should just be a one-time payment and I'm unsure still of why you're um, being charged annually for this. Anyways, um, let's see. Let me see what, do they take insurance? Nope, I'm not surprised. Do they offer genetic counseling? I think they just work with a partner. Yep. Who's eligible? Oh, okay, so interesting. Okay, I don't know why New York doesn't allow it, but this is a valid point. Uh, you can't be a reciprocant of, or recip recipient, <laughs> you can't be a recipient of stem cell or bone marrow transplant or receiving blood transfusions uh, just because it would, I guess, potentially give you different DNA results from the donor versus yours. Um, how do you have restrictions? Let's make sure that we're correct. Yeah, these individuals have a mix of their own DNA and their donors. Yep, that's pretty much as expected. Um, is there anything else interesting here? I am interested in learning just the user experience. Maybe I'll actually like order it just to see and do like a proper review on the channel. Um, how do you activate your kit? That's easy. Oh, they have, okay. They have, why should I collect my DNA sample first thing in the morning? The best way. Oh, okay. At least they tell you you can't eat, drink, smoke, chew gum, or brush teeth 30 minutes before collecting a sample because they don't want to contaminate your DNA with bacteria and other substances. Okay, well, I'm glad that they do mention that at least. Okay, and it comes with two swabs to make sure that they collect enough DNA. Okay, that is making me feel better, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, and then they have some indicators to make sure that you've collected enough DNA. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Data and privacy is important, so I'm glad that they have a section here for it. And then they have some stuff about the science. So yeah, I just want to bring, um, this company to you all's attention just because I found it interesting. Um, I'm still not sure what my thoughts are about it. Um, I am, ex I like tests like these where you get more information about um, things happening on in your body. Uh, the thing that just typically concerns me is like the process of how they actually go about um, getting what they need in order to make sure that it's a proper test. So that's like typically my only um, 
Yeah, that's typically like my only thing. But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts. Sorry, I'm like, I'm definitely gonna go back and look at this afterwards. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you feel like you would take a test like this? Do you find value in uh, learning more about potential ailments and diseases that you either could develop or potentially could? I feel like the answer is yes. I feel like we as humans just always want to know, like, is something wrong with me? Could something be wrong with me? Um, and yeah, I love that. But we have probably gone over time just because I do tend to get super excited about topics. I wasn't even tracking time, <laughs> unfortunately. But let's go into the next phase. I'd love to know if you're going to continue working on what you're working on beforehand, um, as well as I'll have a few other questions for you as well. I am finishing up the annoying alphabetization um, task that I was doing, as well as I have a meeting after this. So I'm probably going to script out just like it's a casual meeting. It's with somebody that I just haven't seen in a few years, actually. Um, but I know them through my work in startups. So partially casual, partially probably trying to see if we could work together in some things or how we can support each other. So I like to just go in with these with like a little script just so that, um, I don't know, it just helps me have like a better um, a better conversation with people. Yeah, we are going to go into this. Also, if you could let me know for future streams um, or future uh, parallel play, if the music uh, level that I currently have it at is okay for you. I currently have it at like half volume just because, um, you know, I want to make sure that I'm not blasting you away if you were listening to something else before you came across here. So if it's too loud or not loud enough, uh, definitely let me know. So we're going to do another focus time and then we are going to uh, just have a little time at the end for some promo. I want to make sure that everybody here can, um, you can see the stream that I'm using. Uh, everybody here has a chance to just promote what they're doing. If you could put it in the chat and then for some future streams, I'll also start calling them out just to remind people who happen to come across this to check you out. You can leave your either YouTube channel that you have, or if you want to leave any links or social media, or if you're working on something cool, definitely let us know. Um, but yeah, we are going to get started. I hope y'all are liking the Zelda. I know it's a little bit repetitive, but um, I don't know, I like it. I can change it up. Actually, we'll change it up for the second one. We'll just do some straight lo-fi beats uh, and you just let me know in the comments if you also like Zelda and if there are any other themes that we should do for future chats. But yeah, let's get started.
Oh, all right. And that was another 45 minutes. I hope that you were able to accomplish a lot of things. And I know I was. I think um, having this focus time just helps me get into flow. I actually didn't even ask the questions I was going to ask. Um, all I want to know is what's your drink of choice for today? You may have seen I have um, at least two right here. I also have a water bottle that's off, but this was coffee that I was finishing um, and this cute mug that I got from Renaissance. Uh, Y'all are going to have to excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I have an external mic and I moved it to the side so that I could focus on work and it was off to the side so if you could not hear me that's probably why hopefully you can hear me now I was just um one explaining that I had two different drinks today my probiotic soda as well as finishing my coffee from earlier I'd love to know what you were drinking on today as well as what you were able to get uh accomplished yeah, so now we are going to just leave some time for promotion. I know that um, it's not always the best or appropriate time to promote ourselves, but I always want to just make the space um, during parallel play. Uh, if you're working on something or if you have a channel, if you're a musician, um, if you have a service, definitely just drop it down uh, in either the chat or the comment section. Um, also, while you're there, if you could like uh, the stream just so that more people can find it. I plan to do this maybe like twice a week, um, as well as subscribe if you're not already. But yeah, I while y'all are doing that, I had a few um, people that I wanted to shout out that I've been able to get to know a bit on YouTube, either they're follow or following my platform and I'm following theirs, or I just uh, stumbled upon them and thought that they were great. The first channel uh, is Arab and Thriving, and I like it just because this person, one, they're pretty much posting, I believe, every day, and also it's lots of uh, just motivational content as well as um, kind of like get your life together content and also talking about um, their experience um, culturally. I think there's a video on there about their Arab wedding. And I don't know, I just find interesting content or interesting content um, where maybe I can't relate to it exactly, but if it's something that is culturally significant, I just find it interesting. Also, I'm having a hard time getting my AirPods to stay in my ears, and it's been bugging me <laughs> today. I don't know. Like, it's typically not this bad, but, um, yeah, it's really been messing with me today. Anyways, the next person I want to shout out is Sky uh, Hinden, and they are also uh, someone who has been posting or streaming pretty much every day. Uh, yesterday, I sat in on one of their lives that they did. And they were actually showing the show. Um, it was a crypto show, like um, Crypto Cartel or something like that. And it was about a group of Black women who were in crypto. And it kind of felt like reality TV show, like you would see on like a love and hip hop. But it was about crypto, which I love like multidimensionalness. Um, that probably isn't like the best, like a good word, multidimensionalismness, something like that. But anyways, I like it when you can combine two things that typically wouldn't go together, like reality TV and potential drama, as well as crypto, which I thought was great that Sky was uh, showcasing this and working with the creator of the show to bring it to a different audience. The next person that I wanted to uh, shout out was the Tracy edition. And the reason I'm shouting this person out is I recently came across their content. And I just like some of the, uh, the discussion points. I think their most recent video is about like the girl boss era and basically the death of it. And I just thought it was fascinating. 
Um, I have two more shout outs and then, um, but hopefully you're like putting your information in there and I'll be able to shout you out next time. Uh, we have North Dakota and I did not spell that wrong. It's North Dakota and all these people you can, they, they have names to where you should be able to just type it into the search bar and find them. But North Dakota is both an artist who recently launched a uh, crowdfunding campaign. So make sure to go uh, support that as well as has a YouTube channel where they are also posting every day. And I think that is great more for, I believe, their self-development. Uh, but also while I was watching some of their videos, I happened to find out that they had a Spotify just from looking in the description. And the music's been great. I may see if, uh, I don't know, one day we could work together and do a stream uh, either curated or including some of their music as well. And then the last person I wanted to shout out was Morgan uh, Foley. This is a, another um, woman, or um, I believe they they go by like she, her pronouns uh, on, yeah, yes, because they do a lot of stuff on like being an autistic woman or autistic girl. Uh, Morgan Foley, um, that's pretty much why I wanted to shout them out. They are an, a fellow autistic YouTuber, um, though unlike my content where I focus more on STEM related uh, science, technology, engineering, math, uh, their channel seems to focus a lot more on actually the fact that they do have autism. So I've been able to watch a few of their, uh, their videos and just relate to it a lot. <laughs> um, I think a lot of the feelings that they express, I also have felt or experienced um, just growing up and being undiagnosed and like it's been about 12 years uh 12 years ago is when i got diagnosed and i think they may have gotten diagnosed a lot later they may also have adhd which to my knowledge i don't have um but yeah I, it's been really cool just seeing what uh their thoughts are and to meet other uh, autistic youtubers as well so feel free to shout yourself out um also i'll show y'all what i was working on um if y'all are interested it was just um i have a daily journal <laughs> that i put together if anybody else is like looking for um journals that work for them i couldn't really find one that works for me so i ended up just making a daily journal in notion so i like have this as a template where every day i'm able to go in here and kind of like fill things out. So I was also filling this out as well. Um, so I have my daily affirmations up here. So after this, I'll like go through and like click them off after I've said each one. Um, and then I have like, I make sure to save room for gratitude, even on days where I can't like figure out what I'm thankful for. Like I'll go, um, if I can't come up with three things, I'll just name things that maybe aren't as typical. Today was Asian pears, uh, just because I was eating uh, Asian pears as a as a part of my fruit basket that I made for my fruit platter. Um, I also plan out like all my meals just so that I know what I'm going to eat each day. Um, I actually have a very <laughs> a very thorough like meal prep for the month to where like I've pretty much planned out my whole month at least a notion of what I'm going to eat just so that I'm not um, and it has like good variety in it and it just helps me like make sure that i'm actually eating throughout the day i don't have to worry about decision fatigue or um anything like that it's like okay i know like later today i'm having this and of course i change it as necessarily um for example i had ethiopian yesterday and didn't expect to um i have my workout in here so like if i'm going to do a workout i like click it off just so that i know and then the things that i want to uh, accomplished for the day. Today is a pretty light day, which um, is great. The only thing that has me a little nervous is just like a meeting, but it's like a, a casual meeting. I don't know why I always get in my head about it. Um, and then I'll continue just journaling some thoughts here at the end. But also like <laughs> with my, um, with 
with the meeting that I have coming up, another thing I was doing over here was um, I like write down all of my notes and like talking points. I do this for pretty much every meeting just so that I have um, somewhat of like a, a guide to the conversation. So like at the top, like asking them about their family because I saw that there were some things that their family had been doing. I also had a conversation with somebody that mentioned this person and just um, ways to like describe what I'm working on since I'm working on so many things now. Um, yeah, if if you're a person who struggles with meetings or phone calls, I definitely recommend doing something like this. I've been doing this ever since I started talking on phones, actually. <laughs> like, I was going to say probably maybe 13 or so. I've been doing this for a very long time, and it just helps me um, just know what I'm going to say. Anyways. Thank you all for stopping by. This has been really awesome, and I hope that you're able to get some work done. I know some of you all are going to continue working. I probably will, but um, I will catch you all in the next one. Feel free to bring a friend next time, and thanks again for stopping by.